This monster man killed thousands of people but also saved the lives of millions of people. Fertz Haber, when the First World War started, a chemist named Fertz realized that nitrogen is very important for good crop production. That is, the nitrogen that is obtained from nature is not enough. If nitrogen is given to the crops in some other way, then the production will increase a lot. So he started making artificial ammonia along with one of his companions, and he was also successful in it. And after this, he wanted to make ammonia on an industry level. So he started the Haber wash process, due to which he made ammonia on a large scale, which the farmers used in the soil of their fields, and they got a lot of production. And when the World War ended, he also got the Nobel Prize in 1918. But many people were not happy with him getting the Nobel Prize. Actually, he supported chemical warfare in the war, according to him. Whether a person dies by a bullet or by any gas, everything was justified for him. And taking advantage of this, he used chlorine gas to kill the enemies. He used this to kill the soldiers and also used ammonia for weapons, which resulted in the death of thousands of people. Even when he was present in the battlefield during the Second Battle of Ypres, he released poisonous gases, which caused the eyes of the soldiers to swell, bleed, and lead to a painful death. Haber also made masks for gas protection and finally got the Nobel Prize. But after the First World War, his condition worsened because he was a Jew and life was very difficult for Jews in Germany. When he died, he died like a normal poor chemist. Albert Einstein said about him that this man had pushed humanity in a wrong direction, but on the other hand, he increased the production of crops by making ammonia on a large scale due to which millions of people got food. Do you think what he did was right or wrong? Do tell us.